the two most critical stage in mushroom production that determines your success is the sterilization stage and also your sources or your quality of spawn. Today, we are going to learn about the sterilization process in mushroom production. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on sterilization using the steam method. Sterilization stage is very critical and today, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of using the steam sterilization to optimum mushroom cultivation. So when you follow this guide, you will achieve the best results and boost your mushroom production. Before we will go to the details of how sterilization is done, it is important to know its importance. Sterilization in mushroom production is important because it plays a role in eliminating contamination and pathogen from the substrate. It also promotes healthy mushroom growth. Sterilization is purposely done to kill pathogen, el eliminate microorganisms and any contaminants, and also to make the mushroom wholesome for human consumption because the sawdust we always use for the bagging is always on the field. And formulation of compost, different microorganisms help to break down the compost. So at the end, you need to sterilize and remove all these microorganisms that will compete with the mycelium when you inoculate your substrates so to start your sterilization first of all you have to do bagging of your substrate so after filling the substrate into your bags and then covering it with cotton where you will do the inoculation and also serve as um respiratory channel for the mycelium after inoculation so when you finish your bagging then you do the setup to sterilize your substrate so you need um a metal that is a heat conductor something that when you put on heat it will not melt and then you need firewood or gas or your sources of heat you need water and then you need your fire set up so when you have all your gadgets and materials ready you first set up your sterilization tank and then you pour water into it so when you fill it with water there's a wooden rack that's a that separates the water from touching the bags so the water have to come to the level of the wooden rack and then after that you arrange the bags on top of the wooden rack so in this video the rack is actually a metal but it doesn't bend um the bags and the sides of the um the drum was painted with um oil paint which also help to prevent the bags from burning even if it gets very hot also when you are arranging your bags you have to provide adequate space for proper steam penetration so you don't have to arrange your bags all stuck together that there's no space for the um, steam to pass through to the top or penetrate through so loading you start by putting it um you allow it to actually sit on the rug either being a metal or a wood first layer second layer third layer till you get to the top so when you get to the top you turn it upside down the reason is that you don't want the vapor that will get to the lead to condense back into your substrate so you turn the one that is um at the top upside down and if there's still space you can now put some sideway um on top of the the ones that you have turned upside down already so after arranging the next thing is to operate your heat and let the fire start doing its work so you have to cover it and then you set your fire and then time it so after setting your fire you have to actually wait for the vapor to start coming out so when the vapor starts coming out that is where you time it so usually if you are using the small drum we advise you go four hours but this drum is very big and it's taking approximately thousand bucks at a go so 
we have to sterilize for six solid hours six solid hours and it took about one to two hours for the vapor to start coming out so it took us eight hours to get this whole bags properly sterilized because like i said earlier sterilization is very crucial and critical and it determines the success of your work so the bags have been turned upside down there was still space and the rest of the bags were kept on top like sideways and we cover it with the um, sack some of the sacks to prevent the water to go into the substrate and then we cover it with the lid so when you set the fire you have to be consistent the fire have to be consistent you don't leave it go and sleep or go to somewhere and by the time you come the fire have died off and then you start again you wouldn't get that proper sterilization so you have to sit beside it so imagine eight hours eight hours we were there till it was ready so when the sterilization process is complete or done which which took us eight hours to achieve that um the next stage is to allow it to cool down immediately you can remove it like you get burned it will be very hot so you leave it to cool down a little and then you move it to your inoculation room and allow it to cool completely so 24 hours or two days should be okay for you to inoculate you have to safely and gradually reduce the temperature inside the sterilization tank and then avoid contamination risks during cooling so when you are cooling don't expose the bags to a dirty environment so before you move it to your inoculation room it should be cleaned and sterilized don't use dirty containers to come and remove your bags from the sterilization tank so after sterilization you have to handle it with care you have to be neat you have to be clean what you are using to carry the bags from the sterilization tank to your inoculation room should be clean avoid anything that will cause the bags to get contaminated after the sterilization process so after allowing it to cool one important thing is your sources of spawn the quality of the spawn because if sterilization is even properly done and then your spawn is contaminated charlie everything will go bad so your spawn and your sterilization process is very important now that we understand the sterilization process before you even start the sterilization let me say that before you even start the sterilization your spawn should be ready you don't finish sterilization and then you start calling your spawn source oh i need spawn i need spawn no you have to get your spawn before you even start bagging and then sterilization so after cooling the next stage is inoculation that is introducing the mushroom seed or the spawn into your sterilized substrate so in our next video we are going to learn about the inoculation stage the critical things you have to look at because spawning and sterilization is the most important and crucial part in the mushroom journey towards success so there are some safety measures that when you are doing the sterilization you have to consider even if you are using gas it can explode there can be heat bands vapor bands so charlie when you are working with it try to protect yourself and then work with care have um first aid on the farm thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit on the subscription button to join the lovely team leave your comments i got your back and then also click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload you'll be the first to receive until then stay blessed